Well, golly gee whiz, boys and girls, it's me, Baby Rory, and today I'm the toy of the day. <laughs> and I'm the drawing, too. Go ahead and show me. <laughs> All right, was that frightening? Wonderful, great start, perfect start. So today we're gonna do Baby Rory. Quick recap of Baby Rory. He, there's this is Baby Rory and I on the on America's Got Talent in uh, 2018. Yeah, 2018. So just from a couple years ago, um, here and I are together. Where the ventriloquist actor I was eating his hands. I already ate that hand. That hand had not gotten eaten and thrown into the crowd yet, and I'm eating his first eye, and I have some of his hand in, his, in my mouth, I guess, or maybe that's his eye. I don't know. Oh, that's where I think I go, uh, i got to keep an eye on you, Rory. Yeah, and I plucked out his eye. Yeah. And so we introduced, you know, uh, Pizza, making the pizza delivery kind of early, earlier here uh, last month uh, to the lighthouse to discover that that is where Uncle Clutch, Auntie Clutch, and the Clutchettes live with the inflatable corn dog and baby Rory right here. So I thought, let's just, ex just expand on baby Rory, the ventriloquist dummy. At first I thought maybe that baby Rory should be like actually alive, but then I decided that it'd be actually a lot funnier if he wasn't alive and that they just really treated him like he was alive. Yeah. <laughs> Lola just it's wanted him. Bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just treat him like he's actually alive, and so today I want to draw baby Rory. You know, let me make one of his eyeballs kind of half popping loose. Actually, kind of looks like Clarence here. Actually, baby Rory kind of does look like Clarence. Kind of looks like Clarence. And, uh, huh? Kind of. Maybe he had hair. It's like baby Clarence. No, it's not. It's baby Rory. And <laughs> he's like... Maybe that they just treat him like he's real, where every day they go and drop him off at daycare, at like a daycare center. They just like, like they drop him off. This? Yeah, what do we do with this thing? And like, just put him in a closet or something? <laughs> and uh, so I'm drawing, I'm just going to draw him dropped off at, at daycare right now. Make it like hand print cutouts on the windows or whatever. Is it going to be I'll inside make, or outside? I'll make him just sitting inside, just kind of flomp down to the ground. And put like blocks and like another kid over there like, uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll put some other kids like sitting next to him, him just like crying. It. Make him poking it like, uh, what is this? Oh, like a finger poking like a little <laughs> toddler, yeah. giving it a little poke. What? Yeah. Another kid sitting here. Make another kid over here crying because it's so terrifying. Yeah, this kid will be giving her a little poke. Like, what is this? Is this thing real? <laughs> and I'll make it like a... I'll make it an animal. Really? Oh yeah, because it's all animals. Make I'll make box. it like a little... I was going to say a little wolf. So, Because I already have foxes, but I don't have any wolves. A baby wolf, I don't know how much it looks different than a baby fox other than that it's gray and not... Uh, orange. Orange. And not such like... Uh, wait, yeah. Uh, nothing, no difference. I don't know. Let me make him just kind of like. <laughs> this is like his tongue sticking out, like. Poke, poke. I'll give him kind of more pointy clawed hands. Something like. Something like that. It looks kind of weird. And then one other one here next to it, just crying. Yeah. And it will be a baby. Boy. Baby turtle? Baby. Me. Four baby turtles. It's a baby lizard from the lizard principle, Dad. Huh? What lizard principle? It's the child of the lizard principle. <laughs> no, I think I like him better as just like, just like an old bachelor. Me. All right. And where's the pen? Here it is. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about these kids on the sides, but. I think they're kind of creepy because that's like a real human and then they're like animals. Real, well, this isn't a real human though. This is baby Rory we're talking about. I know, about. but like... He's kind of like a little wobbly, wobbly paper mache. 
when I did America's Got Talent, yeah, they were like, like, what else could you do? And I was like, I could do a ventriloquism. And they were like, oh, you do ventriloquism? And I was like, no, I don't, but I can. <laughs> well, not really, but I can. They're like, let's see. And they were like, brilliant. <laughs> Beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> we think it's wonderful. But we happened. all know it was not true. <laughs> All lies. They filled your they, head with... They filled me with lies. <laughs> they were just baiting me in. So they could be mean to me. All right. So they and... can make you sit in boredom for like... <laughs> it was a long time. All right. So he's going to be... Oh, I'll make him holding like a block or something too. Or a rattle. Just like a little wooden block. A, B, C. <laughs> D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Very, very good. You don't need to go back to daycare. Yay! Yay! I sure hope I don't have to go back to daycare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little baby wolf. Oh, oh, and since he's a wolf, he should have uh, all over his uh, pajamas. Sheep? Yes. <laughs> little, just little simple. And then there's a sheep, sheep baby there. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> he's constantly trying to eat it. Planning to eat it. It's like a tiny baby, like the turtle. Yeah, it's very, very, uh, like a classic, like a classic cartoon. But that really doesn't sound that interesting, to be honest. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so he's in his, they all got their footy pajamas on. I gotta make sure he's got a tail sticking out the back. There we go. And then I'm going to put this little floppy arm baby Rory over here. He's sort of like, his hands were made out of like fondant, kind of like that I just kind of mushed into the shape of hands that I ate. I had puns. Uh, first was like asking baby Rory if he could give me a hand and I ripped his hand off and bit it and threw it into the crowd. And then I had another hand pun, I think. I can't remember. Give me a hand. And then I... Yeah, and I had more eye jokes, too. It was like... You think I'd remember, but I don't remember. It was all sort of a blur, to be honest. Uh, I love the, in, like, the actual shooting, like, when you say, like, do you want to meet my friend? Yeah, do you want to meet my you friend? Know, like, this, and then I cut to this little girl saying, no! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I should make... I don't think I've got enough... I don't have any snakes. I have snakes. Oh, yeah, you did do a snake. Maybe I'll make a baby snake. Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Cynthia's daughter or son or whatever. Babe. You should put a baby bonnet on someone. Oh, baby bonnet. A little baby with a snake. And it'll have a rattle for a tail. Yeah! Brilliant! Brilliant! Oh. With a rattle snake. We're so inspired today. Uh, and yesterday I was inspired. I said, I'm going to name my child Dobby. Yeah, you want to name your child Dobby. Yeah. And then it's going to be in Jammies. And it's just going to be like this big worm body thing because it's a, well, not a worm body, it's a snake body, but snake body. it's going to be all, body. yeah, and it's going to be all kind of curled up and then coming around the back, it's going to have its own entertainment of, from the end of its pajamas, wrapped up in its tail, it's going to be holding a rattle. I don't want to make it a rattlesnake, but I want to yeah. make it shaking oh. like a baby rattle. Oh, what a baby, baby, I'm just going to make it like a round, just like a, just standard baby rattle with like little we'll put hearts and moons you on it the shape of a mouse dad oh <laughs> ah the road not taken all right all right i think we'll go into turbo mode turbo mode All right, there's Baby Rory. Baby Rory. <laughs> there he is. And he's just sitting up all kind of limp. So I think he's, the fact that he's just actually a dummy that they treat like a real baby. They drop him off at daycare. 
And maybe like Uncle Clutch always has to put his hand to make him talk. But periodically when Uncle Clutch is nowhere around, maybe he still says something just to keep you wondering if he's actually alive or not. So I got to admit, I really like enjoyed this. And also deep down below, I don't know if you caught this very small. I put a little reclining Aunt Dismay because I thought maybe this just needed to take the creepy factor up to 11. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.